subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Hello and welcome to The Print. I'm Snehish Alex Philip and you're watching The Defense Tracker. After years of planning and deliberations, the three services, that is the Army, the Navy and the Air Force, are set to go in for the acquisition of armed drones. Yes, you heard it right, armed drones. The decision to acquire these armed drones came after the three services were impressed with the performance of the two Sea Guardians that are on lease with the Navy from the US. The Sea Guardians are the unarmed versions and is part of the Hail family, which is high altitude, long endurance, uh, unmanned aerial systems. Remember that it was last year that the Navy had taken on lease these two drones from the US. At that time, the initial plan was to uh, get the arm versions on lease, but they couldn't because the entire process would have taken a longer time. Remember that the time taken from the decision to lease these drones to the delivery was just mere 35 days. Had it been in the case of uh, the armed versions, the delay would have been much longer. The reason why I initially said that the three services have finally agreed to procure these drones is because one of the three services, that is the Indian Air Force, was against uh, procuring these systems which are very costly. As per the plan, a total of 30 such UAVs would be procured, 10 each for the services, that is 10 for the Navy, 10 for the Army and 10 for the Air Force. Asked what kind of missiles or weapon systems can be integrated with these drones, a high-ranking source in the defense and security establishment told the print that each service could actually choose its own weapon system, which means that the Navy could actually have uh, you know, uh, specialized missiles or even torpedoes to take care of uh, surface ships as well as underwater. These drones, which is the MQ-9B, has an endurance of nearly 48 hours and has a range of over 6,000 nautical miles. It comes with nine hardpoints capable of carrying sensors and laser-guided bombs besides air-to-ground missiles with a maximum payload of 2 tons. According to the sources, the Defence Acquisition Council, that is the DAC, would take a call on the acceptance of necessity for this particular project as soon as the next one scheduled. For the print, this is Snehish Alex Philip. Do subscribe to our Prince YouTube channel for more such videos.